Lesson 7. Managing Security Roles Part 1. Creating an Analysis Services Role When you create a new database or cube, the server role gives access to members of the local administrators. A client queue browser application can browse the cube, provided that the user belongs to the local administrators group. Any user who does not belong to the local administrators group has no permission at all either to administer or to browse the cubes. If you create a cube and make it available to other users in your organization, they will not be able to see anything in the cube. In many situations, you want to allow all users to browse a cube but not to administer the cube using Visual Studio or SQL Server Management Studio. To do that, you must create a new role. Start SQL Server Bids. In the Solution Explorer window, right-click Roles, and then click New Role. In Solution Explorer, right-click Role Role, click Green Name, then type Users Role and press Enter. Then click Yes. Type Description. Click the Membership tab, and then click Add button. Type Username and click OK. Click the Data Sources tab. Access to the Data Source object is not available, by default. Click the Cubes tab. Select Read in the Access drop-down list for the Car Transactions Cube. These options will be discussed in the next lessons. In Solution Explorer, right-click the project, and then click Deploy. Now. The Car Transactions Cube is available for browsing by Arthur user. Part 2. Full Restricting Access to a Dimension When you apply security at the cube level, you simply allow or disallow access to the entire cube. That is often appropriate, but it gives you no flexibility. Often, you want bosses to see information unavailable to individual salesmen. Dimension level security provides a powerful, but simple, mechanism for granting partial access to a cube. The simplest, and most useful, option for restricting access to a dimension is to prevent all access to its attribute hierarchies. Click Dimensions tab. Select Car Transactions Cube Dimensions in the Select Dimensions Set drop-down list. Clear the checkbox in the Inherit column for customers. Click Dimension Data tab. In the Dimension drop-down list, select Customers and click OK. 
Select country attribute hierarchy. Select deselect all members. Deploy the project to apply the change to the security permissions. In Solution Explorer, double-click our Transactions cube to open the Cube Designer. Click the Browser tab. Click the Change User button in the toolbar. Select Roles. Select Users in the Roles drop-down list, and then click OK twice. Drag the Measures object to the center of the grid and then drag the customer's dimension object to the rows axis of the grid. When you deselect all members of an attribute hierarchy, you cannot view those members in the queue browser. Part 3. Restricting access to specific members of a dimension. You might want to allow a group of users to see some parts of a dimension but not all of it. The dimensions of a role allow you to do that. Click the Dimension Data tab. In the Dimension drop-down list, select Cars and click OK. In the Attribute Hierarchy drop-down list, select Company, deselect two members. Deploy the project to apply the change to the security permissions. Switch to the Browser tab of the Cube Designer, and click Reconnect button. Part 4. Enabling Visual Totals. In addition to excluding specific members from dimensions, you can also filter the aggregate values for a dimension so that the grand total only displays the aggregate for the visible members. By controlling visual totals for a dimension, the difference between the values displayed in the actual grand total for the dimension cannot be deduced. Total is 48, but here is 60. Click users.roll tab and then click dimension data tab. In the dimension drop down list, select cars and click OK. In the attribute hierarchy drop down list, select company, click the advanced tab. Select the enable visual total checkbox. Deploy the project to apply the change to the attribute hierarchy. Click Reconnect in the Cube Designer's browser. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com.